paper being dirty, okay? That's actually what's happening right now. If you look at those who've been dirty over there in that corporate set, and look at what's happening to them now. And we're not exempt from that just because we're the heirs. We must be honorable. Period. And energies tell the whole story. Those who have war energy and who feel like they have to argue back and forth with the subjects, that's not honorable. We don't have to argue with them. If they're not stating the supreme law of the land to support their stance and their status, then we don't even have to have a discussion because we don't need to entertain that. It's not, it's not time productive to entertain those who don't know the law. When we didn't know the law, we paid for that. And some paid with their lives. Because they did not know that they were not black and Negro and colored and African American. So, you know, we will be honorable or else the price will be paid, you know. And so, you know, those, those people who are here on our land, they need to get an honor and get under their own vine and fig tree and declare their citizen status and that they're going to honor the sovereign status of the Moors. And, and here's the thing. Even though um, I'm going to go ahead and mute if I hear noise in the background, I'm going to go ahead and mute you. Um, even though citizens who've been here for two generations since the 1800s when the corporation declared its corporate status. They need to know that it's not honorable to squat on our land when, we, when, when there are more who don't have domicile. There are some more who are in homeless shelters and they're the heirs to the land. So you can be here two or three generations. But when the more say, okay, uh, we need domicile, you need to be giving up the domicile. And giving them up is, is, is not a, it's not a fickle up type of set, a, a situation. It is we're doing things by affidavit, placing things on the public record like competent Moors do. We're not showing up at, at the doorstep or anything like that. We're going to place the documents on the public record and then we're going to let the ancestors lead us in terms of possession and how that happens. Okay, because this is going to be a peaceful transition. It's going to be peaceful. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what they do. I don't care who's objecting. I don't care who's, um, who feels entitled because you're an heir. This will be peaceful, and the heirs must be peaceful as well. And we must do things competently. Possession of the estate is here. So we can rejoice about that. But in our rejoicing, we must be competent. We've been waiting for this time to come. The time is here now. Let's be honorable. Let's, let's, let's take our time and do what we need to do in terms of uh, the paperwork, doing the proper documents, a rodeo title, and all of that, a loyal title or an affidavit form, and we know that an unrebutted affidavit stands as law. And in order to properly rebut our affidavits, you must first have a flag that is of equal authority, and there is none. None. That's why we do what we do by affidavit on Moorish government letterhead. And Justice Theodore, you put something in the chat there that I would like to uh, lovingly challenge. You put in the chat, they will try to provoke us. I want you to just lovingly, I'm going to say this and I'm saying it in love, change your thinking about them. They can't provoke us if they're not in charge of our emotions. It is impossible for anyone to provoke us when we're in control of our emotions. They can say whatever they want to say. 
Okay, and that's where we are. I'm just going to tell you. They can, that's why I'm not opposed to them coming and having questions and things like that. We control this. And when we first control our emotions on the inside, okay, then we automatically control everything on the outside around us more. That's why we can't have more energy because we will create more around us if we do. But when we have peaceful energy and we say, okay, someone is coming and it looks like they're wanting to challenge. It's not a challenge. We are who we are. So let's just, let's just, is, is there any supreme law of the land to support what you're saying? If you don't know the law, then go back and learn it because we're going to put the law out there. And if you cannot, if you don't have a lawful response, then you don't have a lawful claim to anything. That's why it's important for us to speak the law only. Because the law automatically gives us possession. Automatically. Why? Because we wrote it. We wrote the Constitution for the United States and gave it to Thomas Jefferson and George Washington. Go to House Resolution one, uh, 331-100 Congress, second session, and it will tell you who gave George Washington and Thomas Jefferson the Constitution for the United States. Not that hypothecated corporate mess, but the real Constitution that they must obey, that can never be suspended unless we suspend it. And we haven't and we won't. They need to learn it. Those who don't know it need to learn it. And absolutely, uh, Justice Ezu Gibson Bay put in the chat, they adore us when we have peaceful energy. We have no enemies. We have no enemies, Lord. We have no enemies. All there is is other nations that love us and we love them and their subjects. And we love the subjects too because they have they have increased the value of our estate through their work and we work right alongside them. Let's just put that out there too because many of us were in corporate America as well before we found out who we were and we worked hard. So we, we worked right alongside them to increase the value and bring in the technology and put in the roads and put in the bridges, et cetera, et cetera. We work right along with them. So we can go ahead and say, yes, we built our estate too. Islam, Jesse. Islam? Yeah. Um, I wrote this little... Um Thing in the text just now and then I read it over and I realized two things are out of it. One of them from Noble Jewelry and one of them from about a year and a half ago when we were talking and we were writing about the noble elements. You know, so what yeah. I wrote here is Morris, you are the land, air, fire, ether, and the water. Be the one that fits best for any situation. Because, really, uh, that's it. Uh, none of these fight anyone. Land doesn't fight if you stand on it. Air doesn't fight if you breathe it. Fire doesn't fight if you use it for cooking or whatever. Ether doesn't fight about when it holds things together. And water... We're made up of almost 90% water in the body. Not us, but the body. So, uh, when, when Noble Jewelry says uh, the things that he talks about, that the Moors will, uh, the Moors once ruled the world, and, the, and this will happen again, he said, but this time, in love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Because those points are important. And Absolutely. everyone backs up the other. So Absolutely. it's, you know, it's a wrap when we're there. 
Until then, we'll keep rapping. If oh, yeah. Islam. Yeah, yeah, Islam. It is a rap. Just know that, more It's a rap. Um, and all we have to do is just continue demonstrating our nationality, standing, and many are finding that it's getting easier and easier to do the demonstrations. They're getting so much less resistance than before uh, because they know the people who are, who are occupying our land already know. Um, I'm not sure how many of you heard uh, the story of when Justice Marcel and I went to um, Costco. Uh, a couple of weeks back, and how even the manager was educating his employee about us being the government and how he is to deal with us, and he did it right there in front of us. And he pointed to us and said, they're the government, they work with the government, and they're, they are the government. And he said, um, and he began to show him what documents that he needed to fill out, because we don't fill out their documents, they know that. They fill it out and um, give us whatever it is that we need. And we appreciate that because that is actually the job of the children that are here on our land, the subject. Um, let's face it, this is the best place uh, on earth to live, uh, our land is. And, you know, those who are here, when they're doing what needs to be done so that we can continue to stand, uh, they love living here just as much as we do. So, and and they don't have to be, um, that doesn't have to be an issue, but the more are due the estate, period. And that's where we are right now. This is the time and the place and the state that we've been waiting for. And we're here now and we're going to uh, take full advantage of it peacefully and do what needs to be done. Um, there was a question that came in the chat, and I absolutely love that question because we've been, the ancestors have been dealing with us on that very topic. The question was, is there a copy of the treaty in Capitus Novo? No, there is not, but we are putting that together already because all of the documents that, that are in the Library of Congress Corporation is in the fraudulent hybrid status. So even when you look at the copies of the treaty that we've seen, even on the Yale Law website, it is, they use capital letters to talk about Americans and United States citizens and Moors, etc. Well, that's because we are the only ones who can issue a document in Capitus Novo, stamped and sealed and placed on the public record lawfully in red. So this government, which is all of us, is going to issue the treaty properly in Capitus Nolo in red and each and every one of you who wills, who wants to sign it, can add your signatures to that treaty as well. And we can hold those who come here accountable because this is something that uh, some may not know, but all of the other nations of the earth are waiting. They cannot wait to assist us, but we must give them the law first. They expect that from us because we were the ones who wrote all of the laws that they used, even. They're expecting us to do it, and that's what we're going to do. We are the original Phoenicians. We are the original Greeks. We are the original of all of the nations of the earth. They were all indigenous and looking like us prior to our introducing the Albions to the land. Uh, it says, are we going to go through the clauses of the treaty just to clarify their meaning? Justice Apollo, that's a great question. I think we should have that discussion as a nation so that we can clarify exactly what they mean. 
would implore you to do the study so that you can maybe be the main contributor or coordinator, Justice Apollo, of that. And we'll attend, definitely. We will attend and, and add our, you know, our opinions and thoughts to it, to it as well, uh, solely based on the law. So, yes, that is a discussion that our nation must have. And all boards must be, be speaking the law 100% of the time. If we take the emotions out of what we do, all, out of all of our demonstrations and all of our discussions, and we just speak the law, we're never going to be wrong. Never. Never. We will always be right when we take the emotions out and refer only to the law when talking, when having discussions about what should be done on our land and in the air and, and, and in our oceans and all of that. Okay. Uh, let's see. I can. I'm going to cross reference with some of the definition of the word like that. So, okay. Uh, Justice Apollo was talking about in the chat how best to have that conversation. First of all, know that the word vessel that you put in the chat is the hybrid hypothecated definition of vessel because it has a capital V. If that vessel is going to be the Pope's definition of a vessel, Vessel in all lowercase letters will, will have a totally different meaning and it will be a natural meaning that will be applicable. Uh, the House, and in the chat, uh, Justice Zizu said, what is the House resolution with the, with the founding fathers? Um, and we know they're the founders of a corporation, just like the founders of Walmart or the Waltons, etc. Um, it is House Resolution 331. 100th Congress, second session, and it tells, the second session tells you, um, and they worded it a little bit scarce. They, they said that the uh, indigenous nations were contributors or something like that. They said something along those lines, when in reality we wrote it and gave it to them and said, this is how you'll behave on our land. Okay, and they have broken all of that with the introduction of the fiat system. Okay, and we're fixing it uh, it's with, wrong. with our introduction uh, of the gold back system, which we've introduced already. Go ahead, Justice General. It's wrong. Uh, remember, they never claimed to write the Constitution either. They framed it. Right. And they actually really did. They put it in that a frame is, after they find it. They framed it. Essentially, they yeah. took it and defined it to how they could get away with to suit yeah. what they were attempting to do. They framed it. That yeah. is it. You saw it. And framed it fraudulently, actually. But, okay. <laughs> Are there any other questions? We have about it's 10 long. minutes. Islam. Uh, I, I learned something there on the justice. I never knew that. Islam. Yes, you never do what? Just, um, about, just about what he said about the framing of the Constitution. Yes. That's a different word than writing, than having yes. written the Constitution, yes. and I never knew that. And, and that was yes. a good point that I had to my whole life, so I appreciate him for that. Yes. See, they didn't, they didn't use that language when we were in school in their education camps, which we should have never been in their education camps. So, more we do have a lot of work to do because we have our erudite teachings and learning that we must do, which we're doing that now, and we're going to continue to do it. And that's why I'm encouraging each and every one of you, when you do your study, if you want to put out a, a five-minute video or a 30-minute video or a two-hour video about what you study and the revelation that you receive, put it out on social media. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. As y'all, you can see our videos have been just, you know, all types of stuff, but we still put them out there. And now they're starting to smooth out now, and things are getting much better technologically. Um, but 
put put your, put the information that you study out there because we are going to need more uh, information put out there, and that information must come from the Moors. It will not come from anyone else because they don't have the authority to put our information out there. That is why they have moved back from all that they've done so that we can step forward and do what we need to do. Okay? Um, and I, I, I mentioned this in the last uh, sharing session that we had. Uh, when we first started doing our court action, uh, and we put them out there on YouTube, some people were making fun because we were doing our court actions online and doing video court like what, like like this, what we're doing now. And now everyone is doing court, quote unquote court online. All de facto, none of them are doing any action outside of, you know, online. And so we knew that that was going to happen when we first started ours. We knew they were going to have to take a step back, and they knew that too. Okay, and now we're going to continue to step forward. We're going to, and you'll see the changes coming over the next few weeks and months, and the changes are actually happening quicker and quicker more. So again, as many of you as can put information out there as you learn it, put it out there. We started out doing things a certain way, and we've learned to put things in capitalist normal now. Uh, that doesn't negate what we did before, just exercise all of your rights when you do the teaching so that as you learn more and, and, and you navigate through the grand rising, that you um, correct it immediately. When you see that a correction needs to be made, correct it, and the ancestors will honor that. We don't have to be perfect. We just have to be perfect for the mission. And we are. We are fit to govern. And that's what we're doing. Uh, we're going to wind the call down if there aren't any other questions. Are there any other questions from the Moors? And if you want to ask a question and you're muted, you can start six. And that will unmute you. It's mom. This is yeah. our first day. Yes, powerful interest. Um, I have been looking for the local troubles marshal and uh, mm -hmm. have not had success in finding that. I have been uh, able to find the local uh, group and there's an email for a local group that handles fraud under the provost marshal, but I have not been able to find specifically the, the local provost marshal, so I'm wondering do they go under a different title? They must go under a different title. Thank you, Islam. Okay. Islam. So what you want to do is you don't really necessarily have to have face-to-face -face communication with the provost marshal. They respond to our lawful affidavits because they know that is a valid order. It's a valid command. They need it in writing. They don't necessarily need to deal with us uh, specifically. And when we send our, our affidavits to D.C., to the District of Columbia Territory, to the Provost Marshal there, they dispatch who they want out. Because if you if you'll notice, there is more than one set of factions that are claiming to be uh, military on our land. There are other factions claiming to be military. So whoever it is that locally, they may not even be, a, they may be a totally different corporation from the District of Columbia Territory Provost Marshal, who is the American Provost Marshal. We know that he is, and he is one of us. It's, uh... It's live. I Islam. do send it to, uh, to uh, uh, Kevin Vereen, so it's live. Yes. Send it to him and let them do their job. We, we need to stand, stand down and let them do their job because we're not supposed to be getting our hands in that. We send them the command and then we step out of the way. Our blood is too precious to be in those type of situations. We don't need to, you know, and that's why we're Listen, the, 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 the affidavit 
that we send out are being honored. Okay, 100%. We know because even the uh, the media is talking about people being arrested by the provost marshal, CEOs, etc. Okay, based on what we have given. No one else has that authority. Only the more have, have that authority. And then they have to be paid. Okay? And the Moors are doing all of that as well. Islam. So, Islam. There are very speaking. It's, um, I was relative to her question, so I was going to ask, we don't have to write the provost marshal in our territory, we have to go straight to D.C. then. You can, right. write, you can, you can, in, you can send your commands to the provost marshal in your area, but the one in D.C. is the one that we need to be staying in contact with because when our ancestors set up that whole system in terms of letting them come here they're supposed to be operating Islam? Islam, I think she got disconnected oh wow Yeah, hold on, she'll be back. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. I, okay, good. Okay, so the the when our ancestors set everything up on our land and all of the resources were set up here. The resources that we're supposed to use are the ones in District of Columbia territory and again they are subject to us. We're not using any system that's not subject to us. And there are no systems on our land that exist that are not subject to us by the way. So you can notify in writing by affidavit on government letterhead, signed in red, in capitalist no-no, is how you competently notify the uh, provost marshal in District of Columbia Territory, and then you can let the one locally know. Um, provost marshals are nothing, uh, are, and I don't mean to minimize them because that's, that's, not, that's not the intent. They're military police. So I found the local provost marshal in this territory just by looking up military police. Okay. And I copied them on what was going on, but my main contact is District of Columbia Territory. Kev is, is, is our American provost marshal there. So we had to lean the corporate covering off of him. So that he knows he doesn't answer to a corporation, he answers to the more. And then we gave him command. And at first the command, when we first started doing that, um, it seemed like they were being responded to a little slow. And that was that's to be expected for you know, from at that time it was to be expected that they would be answered a little bit slower because he was not accustomed to hearing us speak. And now, um, <laughs> it, it's happening so quickly that as soon as we put something out there, uh, Justice Jeremoore, I see you, and I, I believe, let me see, it is unlocked. Sorry about that. Um, they're, in, they're doing exactly as commanded, okay? And, and they've gotten, you know, those CEOs that are, are, are attempting to do things and not honor our sovereign status, they have to watch their back and then get in alignment with the supreme law of the land, and they know that. Islam. They're well aware. Islam. Islam? Islam. Uh, this is Ronnie El Bay, from Land of Flowers. I just yeah. want to know if I can get a, re get a recording. It's, um, 
Yes, it will go on YouTube. Okay. It'll go on out on YouTube at Like Tajiri Bay okay. channel on YouTube. Okay. So that everyone can yes, you sure can. Absolutely. Okay. All right, we're going to um end the call here. Thank you so much. Everyone who attended, thank you. The questions are much needed and more. Please get ready to dialogue diplomatically about your standing and your status as the government and as the law on this land. Uh, let, let us know, you know, we should know, um, we should know that we're not at war with anyone, okay? We are not at war with anyone. We, we have declared peace on our land and we're going to continue to declare peace. And the subjects have gotten in, they've gotten in alignment thus far from what I'm seeing and from my dealings with them. When we speak and we say something, they're doing what we tell them to do, okay? They, some of them still try to do that scary, you know, you're going to get a ticket if you park there type of thing. We don't park. We're traveling. So that doesn't have anything to do with us. So anyway, uh, Islam Justice Max A, good to see you again as well. And we'll end the call here and we'll see you all again next, next week. And we'll talk some more about there are going to be some processes coming out about our, about our uh, credit or status and how to navigate that. We need to continue navigating that, but everyone needs to get those documents that we talked about on the public record as soon as possible, in capital solo, in red, et cetera, et cetera, and know that uh, a loadial title and all of that is necessary for, the, for, for property. And then stand so that we can move from there. The uh, uh, David Glaser is not the provost marshal anymore. He's not the provost marshal. Kevin Marine is the provost marshal, and he is bloodline and birthright. Kevin Marine is the provost marshal, the American provost marshal, and he is an American, by the way. So you, but that is the that is the correct um, mailing location. Twenty eight hundred Army Pentagon, Washington D.C. two three one zero. That is correct. General Kevin Green, Islam. Pat Estimal, Chief at Grand Rising, yes. Um, so, I've been in the uh, consulate for two, two and a half years now. All the documents that I filed and did with Capital Left, I have to go back and correct all of those? You don't, because you reserved your rights, didn't you? Yes, I did. Okay. I, I don't uh, worry about it. Corporate, okay, so to several locations, I don't have to send those documents uh, again. You don't have to if you don't want to. I do send all of mine because I know now that Pauline, Denise, Richie, and all lowercase letters is the creditor. Uh -huh. In capital, no local. Okay. So I resent all of mine, and that is when um, it took about a month and a half afterwards that. My cell phone bill, I don't have to pay it anymore. They just keep it on cause, because the termination of all corporate contracts accompanies that to the seven locations, including the internal revenue service. Awesome. I sent it to them as well and terminating all corporate contracts. And now we, you know, that is causing the, our status to do what it's supposed to, what it should have been doing the whole time. Okay, this one, thank you. Islam, 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 just, uh, just as Pandoria, thank you so much too, as well. Peace and great rising to the moon. Islam, Islam. Peace, 